fresh footprints. Johnny ran through here, fleeing something. Johnny, wake up. What? Who? Oh, Witcher! You frightened me. Thought it was those vile hags. Killed a few near your den. The crone sent them to punish me. Get on the crone's bad side? I told them off. They don't like it when you tell them off. Why'd you do it? Wanted to help Gran. She's always been good to the children. What would have been the doldrums out here without him? She'd have died of boredom. Begged the crones not to hurt Gran, but they were angry she'd let the children escape. So you saw what happened to Gran? By happenstance, Gran mixed some poppy seed and ash. I went by to help her sort it out. Mother Nature gave me small hands, see? So I can do it easy like. Working away we was, separating seeds from dust. Out of nowhere, Gran cried out. The mark on her hand started glowing. She yelled at me to hide. I crawled into a chest. Barely had time to blink before the crones totted in. The weavess snipped a lock of Gran's hair. Called it punishment for letting the children escape. Then the hags opened the door in the floor. Went down, down, down. Shame it weren't all the way to hell. Why'd the weavess need Gran's hair? Any idea? The crones take folks' ears to hear all. Hair gives them power over folks' lives. There are times they weave the hair into odd strings. Other times they take it downstairs. Take a look under the door. I look like a fool to you. No, you do look like the inquisitive type though. My inquisitiveness ends where folly begins. Stay in the chest until the crone's left? Wanted to. Sit tight and quiet, said to myself. Not peep out your beat till they go. But then Gran fell to the floor, started screaming and tearing her hair out. Didn't know what to do. So I leapt out of the chest, thought herbs might help her. The ones she cured the children's aches with. But Gran was no longer herself. She was a beast. So, you give her the herbs? Couldn't manage it. The crones came back. I dropped to my knees and begged them to spare Gran. Bruess piped up first. Naughty boy! Oh, naughty! Shouldn't say no when the sisters want to hear yes! Then the Wispess says, Run, boy! Run! Before your legs rot off! They all laughed, and I legged it! You escaped. Consider yourself lucky. I do, but I've not lost the ladies for long. If I'm to live, I must hide, and I can forget my cozy hole. It's the first place they'll look if they set out to nab me. Try deeper in the swamp, maybe? <sighs> I suppose I must. And what will you do? There's something in that cellar. The key to finding out what happened to Gran, I think. Will you help her? Provided it's not too late. Thanks, Johnny. And good luck to you. Likewise. And if you happen on any water hags, give them a nice fat walloping on me behalf. Farewell, Witcher. Good luck to you. Save Gran, please. Stop your fingers crossed.
you learn anything? Just as I thought. The crones probably cursed your mother, took a lock of her hair, then disappeared down the stairs. Sell her into the house. So the door is hidden. In that case, we've no time to lose. Come. I work alone. This matter concerns us all. We don't know what's in there. Your men will make a lot of noise. More than I'll make alone. I am the Church of Eternal Fire's agent in these lands. It is my duty to go with you. Fine. Just you then. The rest stay here with Anna. Let me go in first. Give you a shout if I find anything interesting. So be it. Let's begin. Let's concentrate and lift the curse. Chat later. <laughs> 